Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Raina Mo's Designs. And today is November the 22nd. And I just wanted to share with you guys some things that I've picked up for myself over the last two to two to two and a half months that are luxury items that um, I just really needed to have. I really do feel like I needed to have these. <laughs> so anyway, if you're interested in what's in these orange bags, then please keep watching. So I have been wanting to have a new handbag. And the last handbag that I bought for myself that was an everyday bag was from Coach and it's lasted very, very well. But it's starting to show some signs of wear and I've had that bag for about seven or eight years, right? So I've been a nurse for 15, actually over 15 years, and I have never allowed myself to spend more than $300 on a bag. Actually, I've never allowed myself to spend more than $200 on a bag. The coach bag I got was from one of the outlets and it was on sale, marked down clearance, and it was the last one they had, and I got it for a hundred bucks. Um, and I get so many compliments on this bag, right? So anyway, I felt it was time for me to finally get my Louis. I have always wanted one. I remember when I was a teenager in high school, Gucci was the thing. And we happened to um, do yards as a little kid and teenager with my dad like a side hustle and I'll never forget that we used to cut um, this gentleman's yard husband and wife couple that were very well off and once a year she would go through and just clean house and get rid of tons of clothes tons of shoes tons of handbags and everything right well we're talking Polo, Ralph Lauren, shoes that I can't even remember the names of them, but they were all high dollar shoes. And she got rid of a bunch of Gucci bags. And I remember one time a Louis Vuitton, right? Well, I didn't know anything about Louis Vuitton, but I did know about Gucci because we would see people at school with their little Gucci belts, right? But nobody had Louis back in the day, but I knew I wanted to have one of those. And, you know, whenever they did the cleaning of house, it was the women in our family that went through that stuff and divvied it out amongst everyone in the family. Well, we were kids, so obviously we didn't get any of that stuff, right? <laughs> so anyway, I always wanted one. Now at 50, I finally got one, right? Actually, I got two and the SLGs to go with it, but we'll talk about that a little later. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this first one and then we'll go into the second one. So with this first one, uh, it came wrapped Obviously, it was in its bag. Now, I've already opened this one before, right? And I've worn it once, and I realized how heavy it was, which made me go back and get a second bag, one that I would carry more for an everyday bag. And like I said, we'll get into that one next. But I purchased mine from one of the boutiques out here in Houston in the Woodlands, right? Because that's the one closest to our area. And the first one that I purchased was... This one, and like I was saying, this one is the very first one that I purchased, and it is called the Alma, no, no, I'm sorry, this is not the Alma. I was looking at the Alma. This one is called the Grand Palais MM. Now what the MM stands for, I don't know, but I'll probably put it on the screen because I'll probably research it. But this is that bag. Now the Alma BB looks like this, but it has this Vincetta leather around the bottom of it and it's a much smaller bag. So I picked this one up because it's a crossbody or you can wear it as a crossbody, but this is very much a ladies bag. Not for a little girl, 
not for really someone in there dare I say I couldn't see someone 25 or younger carrying this bag let me put it like that um, not that they wouldn't have the money to purchase it. it has nothing to do with that it's just about the particular styling of this bag I really don't feel that it would be someone that young that would recognize the beauty of this bag and this bag is very beautiful this bag is very heavy so I when I carry it even though I put the Vincetta leather strap on it you can wear this because it's extendable you can wear this obviously as a shoulder bag you could even wear it as a crossbody especially if you're short torsoed I would not I would carry it as it should be which is in the hand as a top handle bag that's how I would carry it or on my clip of my uh, elbow such as like this but I just thought she was so classy and if she were in a hundred percent leather oh my goodness she would be even heavier I think <laughs> But she is just a very classy bag, so I really do love this bag. But like I said, it's heavy. It's just not really an everyday bag. This is definitely a going out bag. This is a bag that you would take to meeting. This is a bag that um, you could take to an assembly, a convention. This is a bag that you would take to a meet and greet, uh, some kind of event that's what you would take this bag to and use it um, you could use it as an everyday bag but as classy as she is I wouldn't now you could fit a iPad in here a tablet in here and if you have one of the small uh, MacBooks you could carry it in this purse however I wouldn't carry a computer in this purse a tablet yeah I can see it an e-reader I can definitely see it your phone can go in here with everything that you could possibly need in this bag just keep in mind she is heavy and if you're anything like me you also need to have a wallet to go with your purse so I picked one up and I'm gonna share that one with you guys um, but it'll probably be in a separate video um, I'm, she might just make a little cameo appearance but I want to show you the inside of the bag and for that I'm gonna flip to an overhead view so what you see here is the beautiful interior of this bag it's a beautiful cranberry color and in the center you have one large side slip that you can place whatever you feel you want what's in that little pouch is the key to the lock that comes on this bag now on the opposite side there are two slots there i showed you where i kept my little mirror and the other side is perfect for your cell phone you also have a nice large zipper where you can keep cash and coins and whatever even if you want to stick your lipstick in that zippered pouch you can do that what i don't focus on is on the outside of of either the left and the right side there are these side slits which you can see right there you can put mail there you can put pamphlets there you can put your literature there Bible tracks whatever you want you can place on either side of those if you were using it for field service um, or like I was saying you could use it to hold your bills but this is really a very versatile bag So now that you've seen this glorious bag in her entirety, now we're gonna go ahead and look at the wallet that I picked up. The wallet that I picked up, sorry about that. The wallet that I picked up matches her in that it has the same color as her interior. And I've gotta figure out a name for her. I don't wanna keep calling her the Grand Palais. This is the SLG, that's what they call them, small leather good, that I purchased to go with my Grand Palais. Let me set that there. 
and I think that she is absolutely gorgeous. Both the wallet as well as the bag come with their own dust bags. And I would say that this dust bag really feels as if it's denim. Um, it's very heavy, very nice quality, and you can't even feel the leathering where it says Louis Vuitton. It's within the threads of this particular canvas bag. Um, and I'm saying canvas, although it really feels like it's denim. It feels like it's a bleached denim. Very soft, gonna keep it very well protected. And one thing you guys should know when you have these bags, these luxury bags, whether it's leather or canvas, they're meant to be used. So you need to use your handbags. You just need to be mindful that certain parts of it could get stained. So you wanna be careful with it. You know, you don't wanna be careless with them, but you definitely want to use them. So when you're not using them, always put it back in its dust bag. But like you saw, I just put this back in the box. You don't have to do that. As a matter of fact, you don't want to do that. Why? Because it tends to hold moisture. If there's any kind of humidity in your house and living here in Texas, don't care if your house is brand new or old, there's going to be humidity in it. So you don't want to keep it in the box, right? I'm just putting it back in the box until I actually get it out and um, put it all together again. But I just wanted to let you know that. And as you saw in the beginning, this is the dust bag for my Grand Palais, which you're gonna see me put her away in her bag. And this is how she sits on the shelf in my closet. I hadn't put her back in her box since I took her out and wore her. I just put it in the box and tied it back up for the presentation here on camera. But anyway, she's gonna go right back in her spot in my closet. Second bag that you'll see that I have is right here. Now this box looks like it's about the same size as this box, but it's actually smaller. And that is because the second bag that I got for myself, and no, I did not go on the same day and spend all this money on the same day. No, I did not do this. This was over time, you guys. This was over a couple of months, okay? This, we went to the Houston Galleria and we got this bag, and I might put in some footage of us going to the Galleria but there won't be any footage inside the store. I did not film inside the store. But anyway, at the Galleria, the clientele, I don't wanna say that it's different than it is in the Woodlands, but I can tell you the customer service is. The customer service we received at the Galleria Louis Vuitton store, 100% better than what I received in the Woodlands, okay? So keep that in mind. If I ever have to purchase another bag that happens to be a Louis Vuitton, I will be going to the Galleria. I will not be going to the Woodlands Boutique. So they wrap this with uh, paper. Oh, wow. So not only did they wrap it with paper, they also put a sticker on it that says Louis Vuitton. And I did kind of jostle this bag back and forth, although I hadn't opened it. So that's probably why it came undone like that. But anyway, she is also in a dust bag. And she is gonna be my everyday bag. And this is called the Speedy Bandolier. Why is it called a Speedy Bandolier? And that's because it has the band here and here where you can wear this as a crossbody. The strap should be on the inside. And one thing I wanted to share with you guys is the Speedy was basically the original handbag that Louis Vuitton ever made. They are actually a travel company, have been a travel company and have always done luggage. But someone famous in Hollywood requested a handbag 
and they made their very first one in honor of her. And I don't want to say her name. I'm pretty sure you guys already know who she is. But that did not have the strap on the sides. But because everybody's wearing crossbodies, they came out with these bandoliers some years ago. So anyway, that's this one. And she is, her lock is right here. I didn't mention to you guys, but the Alma, not the Alma, I keep wanting to call her that. The Alma is built similar to the Grand Palais, but it's like a baby compared to the Grand Palais. Um, the Grand Palais comes with a lock as well, and it's on the inside. Um, but, oh my God, this stuffing. But, you see, she comes with a strap also. And this strap is extendable on both ends, it looks like. So you can really wear her as the crossbody, as the crossbody that she's intended to be worn as, right? As well as a shoulder bag. Okay. And I'm just gonna put this back in. Now, I will tell you, with this Vachetta leather, you do have to be extremely careful. And the reason why you have to be extremely careful is because even water will stain this. So if you are running from your office, your house, to your car, and it's raining, this will get all wet and it will get all stained. How can you prevent that? Some people spray a product on their Vachetta leather, okay? Louis Vuitton does not suggest that you do that. But I watched a video for a young man, and if I can find it, I'll put it down in the description box. And that young man really knows how to take care of his luxury products. And what he suggested, because it's what he did, is for seven days, he would place any of his bags that have Vachetta leather into the window and basically let it tan. That's basically what he's saying. You let it tan with the UV lights and each day you turn it so that it can equally get the sun rays that it needs. And then after that, you take a simple baby wipe that doesn't have fragrance and doesn't have moisturizer in it. And I will put a link to those same baby wipes that he suggests, which I've purchased, down in the description box. And you just wipe it clean. Every day, whenever you use your bag, Wherever you put your hands on the leather, you wipe it clean. And then it will patina the way it needs to and you won't have to worry about stains. So I've already done that with my Grand Palais, but with my Speedy Bandolier, that's what I will be doing, putting her in the window for a week and just rotating her for those seven days. But the design that you see here, is quite different from the design that you see here. They are both Louis Vuitton bags, but this is the signature monogram canvas. And this is the Dame Azur. That's the name of this canvas. This is a creamy color and the checkerboard pattern that you see here is kind of a play on denim. It's a blue and it's really beautiful. But with this one, you will have to be careful of color transfer if you're wearing them with jeans or if you're wearing them with something red, the red dye can kind of transfer and rub off on it. So you wanna be careful of that and make sure that you carry your Speedy as a hand tote like you should. You know, be mindful if you're wearing something that could possibly transfer onto this white-ish surface. Maybe you don't want to carry that bag that day. But anyway, now that she's been unboxed, I'm going to put her up in the window, rotate her, and she's going to be my new everyday bag. So I'm going to also insert here what she looks like on the inside. So the inside of this bag, as you'll see, is pretty straightforward. She's just a big open bag. 
Now there you see her strap. There's a small zipper portion where you can put change and such. But pretty much she's just wide open. So you could put anything and everything that you need in this bag because she's like a catch-all. That little box is the lock that well it's the box that the lock came out of and then you saw the little pouch with the key in my humble opinion she is the perfect everyday bag. so now that you've seen my new everyday bag and you've seen my very special event bag I just want to say I know that these things are considered luxury and I know that these things are considered expensive and I also know that not everybody's going to be able to purchase something like this or even want something like this, right? All I want to say is, for me, these are things that I have been wanting. These are things that I have worked very, very, very hard for for many, many years. And it's not something that I um, take for granted or take lightly, but they are something that I feel that I've worked hard for and I wanted to purchase. This may not be everybody's video and for that, you know, um, I'll have to say, I would have to say, I'll catch you on the next video. But you know I had to purchase a wallet to go with this bag and I probably will do a separate video really showing you my SLGs for this particular line for these bags. Will I be spending that kind of money again on a bag? Probably in another 15 to 20 years if I'm still here, but I'm not someone that spends money like that. Um, but I felt at 50, it's, it, it's time, <laughs> it's time. So anyway, on that note, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. But most importantly, have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye.